I do want to discuss something that I think is going on in the house. How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here with you again today. This video, we're going to talk about something different. So everything that we're feeling. I did some research and actually my uh, supervisor brought this up last night. Sounds like you have mold in your house. Okay, so I started doing a bunch of research on mold. It turns out that mold inside your walls and your ceiling, even though you don't see it, can cause a multitude of health issues. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. There is a list of symptoms that I do want to read off to you guys. Maybe this will help somebody else out too. I'm going to show you what I am reading this off of. This is on the internet. I know it's probably mirrored, okay? This is what I'm reading, and I'm going to read the symptoms. It was published November 15th of 2019 and updated in October. So let's go over the symptoms of mold illness. Let's go start out with the psychiatric. Anxiety, fear, panic attacks, mood swings, irritability, anger, OCD, reduced ability to cope with stress, hallucinations, and suicidal thoughts. That is a little bit like, that's right here guys. YouTube, I am literally reading this off of this place. I will put a link in the description below of this particular uh, website. Have we had higher anxiety in the house? Yes. Have we had a little bit more panic attacks? Yes. Uh, mood swings, yes. Uh, irritability, yes. Anger, yes. As far as hallucinations go, suicidal thoughts, no. We, we haven't really had any of that. So let's get into the cognitive things. Decreased short-term memory. Difficulty concentrating. Difficulty learning new information. Uh, word finding difficulty. Reduced ability to plan and execute. Lack of motivation. Brain fog and Alzheimer's and dementia. Brain fog and lack of motivation, yes. Neurological. Now this is the one that got me. Now remember, <laughs> <laughs> this is pulling directly from this site, okay? This is what exactly what I'm reading you from this site. Neurological, headaches, migraines, yes and yes. We've had more headaches in this house. We've had more migraines in this house. And that's not just me. That is the wife, that is my kids, even the cats, the dogs, everything. Everything in this house has been having a lot of issues. Tremors, yes, we've had more tremors. Uh, vertigo. We've had a lot more vertigo in this house. Uh, seizures? No. Burning along the spine? No. Sensitivity to light? I've even had more sensitivity to light. Uh, numbness and tingling? Somewhat. You guys remember uh, when I very first started the, uh, the vitamin D deficiency um, series, I was noticing uh, numbness and tingling as well. And sense of internal vibration. This one's a new one for me. I have actually started feeling that. I woke up last night, my whole body inside just felt like it was vibrating. Like, it was like, what the hell is going on here? It just was really weird. It gave me the heebie-jeebies. So I tried going to the doctor today over this, and I also wanted him to see if there was a way that he could pull more blood from me yes more blood get some other tests done to kind of see if there is any sort of mold exposure he told me no there's no there's no way it wasn't my regular doctor so I, it was i wasn't surprised from what i have read now there's multiple sites that i've went to from what i've read even mold exposure like that from Again, this is from what I've read on the internet. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but from what I understand, it can cause vitamin D and B12 deficiencies. It can cause tinnitus, ringing of the ears. It can cause pretty much everything that I'm going through. Well, how come it didn't really affect me before? before until like just last month or the month before I quit smoking. What does mold need to survive? It needs a food source, it needs oxygen. I started giving it oxygen, okay? So any of the mold spores that I'm breathing in is collecting in my lungs, which gives me the sensation of shortness of breath. The carbon monoxide that was coming from the cigarettes was actually killing off the mold inside my lungs, but it was also <laughs> harming me at the same time. So I quit smoking. Well, now I'm starting to feel all this. So, so what are we gonna do? Well. Here's our plan. There are things on the internet, uh, on Amazon, that you can get to test mold, radon, all that other stuff. It's these detectors that you can buy from Amazon and other places to test your house. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do. So with that being said, we don't have a definitive answer if mold is the case in our household, but we're gonna definitely do some testing. 
So guys, I hope you guys stay tuned for that as well. We are going to move. I really hate to say this, we just come up here, we are going to move. This house did have leaks in it before and I should have looked a little bit harder but I think there is black mold up in the ceilings and in the walls. We do have a place to go to. Um, I'm not going to say it right now. And that's going to happen very soon. As soon as we can figure out, because I want to get proof of all this first. But guys, stay tuned. I think I'm on to something here. If you guys have any comments about the whole mold, mold thing, leave it down below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Until next time, see ya.